Hello and welcome to the Fossil Huntress podcast. I hope you guys are all doing well. I wanted to wish each of you a beautiful and happy Valentine's Day. I'm uh, in Vancouver for it and it's snowy and white here and I thought I would share a little tale of love, both romantic and nostalgic, and um, some yummy Upper Cretaceous uh, fossils from Vancouver Island. One of the classic Vancouver Island fossil localities is the Santonian Mastrictian Upper Cretaceous Haslam Formation Motocross Pit near Brennan Lake in Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. So wherever you are in the world, fly with me over to Canada to her far west coast to British Columbia and then we'll go a little ways out into the Pacific where we'll find Vancouver Island. And in about the center of that island is the town of Nanaimo. I was over in Nanaimo this past year. It was the beginnings of COVID and so I would planned a bunch of social visits and um, did none of them in the end. Um, I did go see my aunt to pick up my father's ashes, which were in an urn in her home with the intention that we would gather as a family and sprinkle them. But again, that uh, was not possible with COVID. So she brought him out to the driveway and set him in the center and backed up. And then I came forward and picked him up. And we had a little socially distanced visit. And then I brought him up to the motocross pit, which is about 10 minutes from their home. And uh, my dad is a bit heavy in an urn, but I put him in my backpack and took him even so because I thought he might like to get out and about. Um, The last time I'd been to uh, the Haslam uh, Formation um, outcrops had been with my uncle Doug and in the in the year that followed he'd also passed away. So I told you there were this was a tale of love both romantic and nostalgic and I was certainly feeling very nostalgic um, when I was there this past year. It's a great site, so it's no longer an active quarry, but a a true motocross site, so with motorcycles scooting around. Um, And even so, it remains one of the classic localities of the Nanaimo groups. We find well-preserved nautiloids and ammonites, um, canadoceros. Uh, There's beautiful big inoceramid clams and other gastropods. Um, We find decapods here, um, some seeds and plant materials. So it's, it's quite an amazing site. It was John Pham, who is now vice chair of the Vancouver Paleo Society, who actually originally told me about this locality. And John, um, he's a delightful human being, one of the most knowledgeable people on the planet that you'd be well blessed to know. And he grew up about 15 minutes from the motocross site. And while he was growing up, his father and and him used to go there about once a week to poke about And um, years ago, John and uh, Dan Bowen and a few other folks were going to head up to Jurassic Point. So um, John came to pick me up in Vancouver and I overnighted in his parents' house in Nanaimo. And I actually stayed in his old bedroom with his early fossil collection. And we spent a couple of hours just poking through each of the fossils and him telling the tales of um, learning about paleontology and sort of discovering it. I did up a post um, on the Fossil Huntress page on Facebook uh, with a photo of um, one of the ammonites he collected way back in the day. And it was when he was still um, prepping with a cold chisel, which is kind of a brutal way to to prep an ammonite. But uh, it was delightful to to walk through time with him and, and see his early collection. Um, and and share a love of all things paleo. And on the romantic side with John Pham, one of the most beautiful relationships I've ever had the honor to witness is John and Grace, um, his childhood sweetheart. And they are now married. And I went to that wedding and and have seen the product of, of that union. Two beautiful boys. So it's lovely to see... Um, see them through time and watch that romance blossom into a family and now go out on fossil field trips with John's boys, which is quite amazing. So there's the romantic piece of this tale. 
When I was walking around Haslam this time last year, there was a little bit of snow on the ground, but clear blue skies. And the motocross pit now has some no trespassing signs, but no people were around. So I walked uh, the periphery. So I walked along the ditch and I was looking for the bedrock of the Haslam. About the time these rocks were laid down, they were laid down south of the equator as small tropical islands. And then they would have rowed across the Pacific heading north and slightly east over the past 80 million years to where we find them today. Much of what I know about the Nanaimo group and as I walked the rocks looking for the bedrock and the fossils found here, I'd learned from Jim Haggart and Peter Ward. So they've done much to increase our understanding of the Molluscan fauna of the Nanaimo group and personally both personify the kind of charming Indiana Jones school of uh, rugged manly paleontologists you would picture in popular film. Professionally, um, they're Singular contributions and collaborative efforts um, have helped shape our understanding of the correlation of the Nanaimo group fauna to those we find in the Gulf Islands and down in the San Juan Islands of Washington State and further afield. And, and their collaborative efforts continue um, with many of the Vancouver Island Paleontological Society members and Van PS members. So it's very nice to see. And their work builds on the work of folks like Usher and Matsumoto and Mallory with a healthy nod to folks like Muller and Jaletsky, um, all of whom have helped untangle the, the biostratigraphy and, and the fossil foundations and correlations of this very interesting bit of the world. Fortunately, during that walk, I did get to the bedrock of the Haslam and took a couple of photos that I'll share with you um, in a blog post and also over on Facebook. Um, but one of the other bits that I really enjoyed here is um, the natural, uh, still living, extant fauna and flora. And while I was there, a lovely little Stellar's Jay, this little fat blue boy, um, followed me from tree to tree, making his guttural shook, shook, shook call. And um, instructively, he was timing it to the, the um, strikes of my hammer. Um, one of the other bits that's really charming about this area is it's just down the ways from Ammonite Falls, like literally just down the road. Um, so you'll be pleased as punch to know that an Ammonite Falls does exist, and um, so does a Jurassic Point. Um, both of both of which I will I will post about in a in a future blog post. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, however you're celebrating it. Um, I plan to, to build a snowman and put some ammonites in its eyes and um, maybe make some soup. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you soon.